Hi, this is Gilbert Gottfried. The following material on the Dean Blundell Show may contain content that will very likely gross you out, maybe make you sick. You might even vomit out of disgust. If you don't vomit, you'll probably dry heave, uh, which is actually pretty funny to watch. You know what? I changed my mind. Turn the volume up and just listen. The Dean Blundell Show. Going dick head free. In T minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Deep nine. Six. Deep nine. Six. Deep nine. The Dean Blundell Show. Dean Blundell and Todd. Those are the only guys that when I listen to them, I'm just howling on the way to work or school. Like, I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. The Edge. This is your Edge. Hold it. Files with Dean Blundell on the edge. A uh, pit bull in Tennessee is about to be euthanized at a local animal shelter after it was abandoned by the owner. The reason the owner abandoned the animal, the dog humped another male gay dog. <laughs> <laughs> and the owner doesn't want a gay animal himself. Can't be having one of them gay dogs. <laughs> hey, you see that? Jimmy, you see that? <laughs> He's humping another man dog. I mean, I'm kind of turned on, but that's wrong. That's right. <laughs> if it were my leg, I'd be all right with it. But dang. Um, the dog was posted on a Facebook page. It lists dog scheduled to be put down at a Tennessee kill shelter. The guy signed over to RC. <laughs> this guy was signed over to RC because he's mean or not because he tears things up but because his owner says he's gay. <laughs> this is the posting. <laughs> he humped another male dog, uh, so his owner threw him away because he refuses half of a gay dog. Even if that were the most asinine thing I ever heard, it's still discrimination. Don't let this dog die. Aww. Do you know the dog's name? Yes, I do. What is it? <laughs> Elton. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's right, Doug's gay. <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault. <laughs> he had the choice to oh, name yeah, the dog. Yeah, he gave him the gay name, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Blame yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it, my dog's gay. Oh, what's his name? Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll name this dog Richard Simmons, and it just <laughs> got to give it away now. <laughs> <laughs> Richard <No>. Simmons. <laughs> he was That's arching stupid. his ass since he was... <laughs> he tried sweating to the oldies. Uh, although homosexual behavior is well documented within species of animals, it's not so much the homosexuality as the inability to, to discern what furry leg belongs to who. Yeah, let's be honest. Uh, Every so, dog's basically gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're a bunch of poop-eating queer dogs. Yeah. <laughs> All of them. Uh, yeah. And the man's best oh, whoa, friend. Whoa, 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 you see that? He's gay and he's into Schneiser videos. Yeah. <laughs> Schneiser. Put him down. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> uh, an ounce of cocaine won a girl a uh, fourth grade science project at the science fair. Emma Bartlett's drug-sniffing dogs project earned her a spot. In the uh, the National Science Fair, I think it's pretty nice. Except it's not her it's not her uh, science experiment. It's her oh. dad's. Oh, is it? No. Yeah, <laughs> not in a bad way. Uh, her dad mm. is a detective with the Miami Dade Police Narcotics Bureau. He's in trouble because he provided drug sniffing dogs and a whole bunch of crack <laughs> and cocaine around the school, and had the daughter going. <laughs> anyway, she won. That was but the he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the winner was Frankie, a retired dog who sniffed out drugs in 43 seconds in the gymnasium with a school full of kids. <laughs> I love it. You hear about that gay dog? Yeah. <laughs> now we got a drug addict dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> You know how much S of D he, he does to get us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a pair of women from the Bronx, um... We were arrested by customs officials yesterday. It's actually a pretty funny story. Uh, discovered both wearing adult diapers stuffed with cocaine, one of whom had uh, close to half a pound of coke in her hoo-ha. 
Hmm. Well. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff up no, there. No, <laughs> Security officers uh, searched the luggage and found nothing wrong, but noted that she, quote, seemed very uncomfortable and cr incredibly nervous. Uh, when a pat-down showed an odd bulge in her nether regions, she was asked uh, what type of sexuality she succumbed to. That's when she started crying and said, mm. I got cocaine in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take much for her hey, uh, to break down. <laughs> hey, you got a dick? No, it's yeah, cocaine. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three kilos of coke. Her traveling partner, wow. Michelle Blasingale, was also searched and found to be wearing a similar undergarment with roughly the same amount in the drug and, of course, the half a pound in her hoo-ha. Uh, that search apparently didn't take very long. It came out when she took off the diaper. So that's uh, if you meet a girl named Michelle Blasingale, mm. it's like throwing a <laughs> hot dog down a hallway. I would say. You know that gay drug sniffing dog wanted nothing yeah, to do with nothing. that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are your edge files. Whatever the hell day it is in uh, February of the year 2013. Yeah! The edge files on 102.1. The edge. The Dean Blundell Show. I have some bad things to say about those people. Freaking, I heard it. Flying through my freaking damn wall. The Dean Blundell Show. Ooh, 102.1. Freaking, I knew it. The Edge. Just reading a funny story out of Dubai this morning. Durex launching a condom delivery service so people can fly under the radar. If oh, you like. What's the illegal? To yeah, I think, to have, I don't know. Uh, launched a new app and service in Dubai that uh, discreetly delivers condoms within an hour with the delivery made by someone dressed as a pizza boy, a tourist, huh. or some type of delivery service. I see. That looks official. Because generally you're doing a hooker. Yeah. Over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> After downloading the app uh, on the Durex SOS websites, users can order condoms between 4 p.m. and 4 a.m. anywhere within Dubai, and the condoms will arrive within the hour. You better Another plan. <laughs> similar <Yeah>. service <laughs> on a smaller scale. The condom uh, ambulance, uh, which is in New Jersey, was the model for it. But this one apparently is uh, kind of a little bit different because I guess sex is frowned upon. Anything to do with sex is frowned upon, even buying condoms or you can't buy sex toys, that kind of stuff over there. So this is why they have to disguise themselves as pizza delivery guys with rubbers. <laughs> Pizza's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Not and it with, comes in a okay. pizza box too, yeah. it says. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they'll come up, show with the pizza. Here you go. Filled with rubbers. <laughs> it's a pretty good move. I'm just thinking you got to plan ahead. Yeah. Because you don't want to wait that long with it. Well, I was, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's oh, it's going to go down soon. Yeah. And doesn't that look presumptuous if the pizza guy gets there, like right before your date gets there and she sees him leaving and say, who's that? Well, that's the condom oh, I guy. See yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what do you, you think you're going to get lucky? Well, I know it. You can always say the safe sex thing too, though. Yeah. Oh, just in case I want it to be safe. Yeah. yeah. And what do you say if he delivers more than 10? <laughs> Like you hope you did your Kegels. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I started thinking the other thing. Yeah. I don't don't women have to cover their faces in Dubai? I think they do. They're very strict in Dubai in terms of women. Yeah. So if they have to cover their faces in Dubai, uh, and a guy brings a girl home, uh, and he orders the condoms, and then he takes the veil off, and it's no good. <laughs> you go. What a waste! What a waste! <laughs> Maybe keep it on, yeah. just in case. Here, let's pin this back up, baby. <laughs> Maybe that's a gamble you don't want to take. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Unreal. See what's behind the veil. It's, uh, but good sir. I think it's a great idea. They should do that with more stuff for like alcoholics that have a problem. Get guys to deliver booze in pizza boxes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What would you oh, put it in? Estimate. I'm trying to think what you'd put it in for uh, for booze. That's a great question. Yeah. Flowers. Yeah, I could like a big stand, like yeah, the, yeah big box there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's too bad. What a what a country Dubai must be. Can't even get rubbers without being arrested. It just yeah. makes it that much more exciting, though. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so turned on right now. This is very sneaky. I'd almost hope it came late, <laughs> <laughs> so you could not use it. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, they were free. Yeah, Good yeah. news is they were free. Yeah. Because he was 45 40, minutes late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dean Blundell. Show 102.1.
one the edge. Time for your phone calls. Open phones four one six eight seven O Edge eight seven zero three three four three. It's Friday, free for all Friday. Hmm. Hey, the edge. Hey, how are you? Good, you? I'm good. Listen, I got a story about I got a friend who lives in Abu Dhabi about the condom thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, they have this condom delivery service where people dressed up like pizza boys will bring you rubbers in case you're going to get lucky. Yeah, well, I yeah. asked him how did he buy booze there because he went from here over there. Yeah, and apparently it's a blacked out store, storefront, all blacked out. And when you go in, you buy the booze. Then when you come back out, they give you a black bag. Like that's not uh, how you say obvious. Yeah. That they, uh, yeah, yeah they I was going to say, bag. doesn't sound that sneaky to me. And they actually sell pork there, too, but it's like way in the back mm. corner in the store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. Some of those countries don't know what they're missing between the pork and the booze and the sex. If you can combine three things in one night, bacon, sex, and alcohol are three pretty good things. <laughs> Best night ever. Isn't that nice? <laughs> People would be a lot happier. You're right. By the edge. <laughs> hey, I'm actually calling about that, um, <laughs> that question about the... Uh, one age is good for the kid to not see your parents' junk. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not sure that you're calling the right place, but sure, one age is good for you to not see your parents' junk. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Very weird bizarre. that he's yeah, thinking yeah. about that. Yeah. I the edge. Maybe they're doing Mark, that. Good morning, guys. Good. Open phones. Yeah. Labias. I want to talk about labias. Sure. <laughs> Dreaming labias and doing all that kind of weird stuff. You guys were talking about it yesterday. Yeah. And I, I just, I really have no idea why girls would want to trim their labias. Well, I, I, some, sir, and, and I've seen, you know, everybody's seen their share of those uh, parts of people's anatomy. Um, but it, uh, some are, some are terrible. Some are yeah. like, and, and we've said it before, and not, not all wieners are good looking either. Trust me, I know. Yeah, I've true. seen a lot of wieners in my day. Ah, a lot of ugly wieners, have you? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but ev- everybody's got... Every, it's like a snowflake, right? Everything's the same, but some of those snowflakes have a lot of dangling crap coming out of it that you just gotta... You're right. There are some very ugly ones out there, too. Some guys like that, though. I think Todd was talking about a couple of different really colored ones he's seen in his lifetime as well. Yeah, well, then, but you know what? It's uh, I, I guess people find, as Todd said, people find beauty in it, too. A lot of guys prefer it. I, I can't remember the porn store's name, but there's a, a porn store out there. She actually trimmed it. Yeah. And then she put it in acrylic, and she's got it on her mantle. So, like, when people come over, you can see the trimmed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's taking it a little far. Yeah. Well, that's a little, little, a little gross. Are you, what do you, uh, you have no preference? You don't care what, what comes out of that thing? Uh, you know what? I mean, they're all different shapes and sizes. I mean, there was this one time I was with a girl. She, she never had a taint. There was no tape. It was like... Oh, it went... Long. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, one big I've line. Yeah, one big oh, line. Interesting. I've seen that where it goes like it's mm-hmm. long. It mm-hmm. goes real long and then stops yeah. right at the uh, the leather Cheerio. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, like, I'm like a taint tickler and I went to go tickle and it wasn't there. And I was You're a taint away. tickler? That's awesome. That is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so brave. Never heard of a guy calling himself a taint tickler. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and soft. He never sees a sign of day. Yeah, it's it? true. <laughs> it never sees anything. It just uh, sees darkness and humidity. <laughs> it's like a basement. It's like a cellar. It's like a cold cellar. Only nice and warm and soft. Maybe like a Petri dish. I'm a taint tickler. <laughs> <laughs> My friends are ass guys. Yeah. Boob guys. I'm a taint guy. Hey, The Edge. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Good. I, uh, I got a story similar to the catfish, but not quite the same. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that last couple of days, getting catfished on the internet, people misrepresenting themselves and showing up and just being gross. Yeah, I kind of knew what I was getting into, but I uh, did it anyways. What happened? It was a uh, broad from the States. I went down to see her in Detroit. Oh. Detroit? Mm. Was her name La, Fon- La Fonda? No, Tiffany, actually. Oh, okay. Mm. So I uh, go and see her, and we get it on a few times in the hotel room. Yeah. And, uh, so I'm, she wants me to go in her, like set a shop in her. And I don't do that. I refuse to do that. That's just yeah. good. Right? So it's the second time around. I, I wasn't going to go, so I figured, why not fake it? Well, they know if you fake it or not, dude. Chicks well, know if guys fake it. <laughs> this one didn't. And uh, I get back after the weekend we spent together. <laughs> Three weeks later, she tells me she's pregnant. Yeah. Ah, yeah. good luck with that one, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I was trying to be nice about it, so I didn't want to necessarily say, like, well, no, you're not, right? I, uh, I didn't yeah. 
So I said, well, what are you going to get tested? Sure enough, she only gets tested, and she's still saying she's pregnant. And that's when I busted out the can of worms and told her, listen, I didn't even know you. We just, had, we just got it on five minutes before that. Yeah. And there's no, there's no way. And then she comes back with, well, it must be cancer. <laughs> ah, she tried. went straight to cancer. <laughs> she really wanted you. Will you that be is, with me and take care of me? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Put in Chapman. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Can- cancer seems to be, from all the stories we've heard of it, with this whole catfish subject, we talked about it in light of the Manti Teo thing. Did anybody see that on Dr. Phil yesterday? No, I didn't watch oh, it. Oh, it was awesome. It was, yeah. yeah, the guy's gay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you know what? He should just say yeah. he's gay. Yeah. I think well, it's I covered. Think I, the past totally. before, I hope she's okay, but I got a feeling she just she's just No, no, you don't it, no, they don't they don't no. go they don't go test you for, for uh having a baby and then tell you you got well, oh sorry, you got cancer. <laughs> no, that's what I was thinking. So yeah. uh, I kind of those two tests are not, not mutually <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> In a way though, it's good that she came up with the next excuse of cancer because you didn't think she was a big yeah. I don't want to say the well, word. Well, it, you know. it my mind just to know that she's not I knew she wouldn't be, but still, I don't want some, some false accusations out there, right? Eh? Yeah, she's in Detroit. I didn't want to yeah. Detroit. Hey, bud, bud. She yeah, no, she's in Detroit. Wouldn't matter. Different country. <laughs> you can inseminate anyone in any country, and it won't matter if you move to Canada. That's the truth. Don't get an abortion. Move to Canada. Seek asylum for yeah. uh, pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never to pay child support again. <laughs> Wait a second. Nah. Hi, the edge. Hey, Daner, what's happening? What's up, dude? I had something pretty funny happen to me on the way to work this morning. Mm-hmm. Was, uh, there was this, you know, I'm, I'm driving up to the highway to get on the highway to go to work. This dude in a, a plow truck is behind me, just tailgating me the whole way, you know what I mean? So I, I touch the brakes and whatnot. He flies around me and immediately goes right in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I hope that the guy's listening right now, and I can tell him that he's a giant douche. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh yeah, Atta boy. Well, I'm glad you're all right. I love those guys that do that. I had a guy just tailgate the piss out of me the other day, and he got pulled over. But and then he went flying past me, and he got nailed maybe five or six kilometers ahead on the 407. And what I really wanted to do is pull up behind the police officer and say, can I just have a moment with this guy? Uh, and go up to the window and go, ha, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. Uh, I was wondering if you guys heard about that uh, OHL referee that got uh, fired for the rest of the season for ch- uh, chirping the Sioux on uh, Twitter. Yeah I, well, yeah, I can't remember what he said. It was about chicks in the zoo being gross, right? Yeah, so what they did is, because uh, yeah, I, I don't want to say what name, because I, I skate in the OHL, too. So they flew him up there for the... the you're the a ref back, in the OHL? Friday to Saturday. So hang on, hang on. You're a ref... You're, you're, dude, dude, you're a ref in the NHL, or the OHL? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so then uh, I guess he's, he's there after the Friday night game, throws out a, a tweet on Twitter about... This town sucks. Hashtag no teeth. Hashtag fat women. Hashtag I don't know. A bunch he said of hick town. Like it was yeah, probably yeah. the most accurate that <laughs> refs ever yeah. been. Yeah, it was the best call he's ever made. But, uh, <laughs> so, so then I guess you know it gets around. Everyone's retweeting it. Next thing you know, the GM of the Sioux gets it the next day, right? Does he have a like an eighteen-year-old daughter that lives in the Sioux? <laughs> <laughs> probably. And then. Uh, Sooner or later, they have to fly up another guy. A guy, the guy I was supposed to be with, we had, we had a nice game in London. And all of a sudden, he's got to go fly up to uh, the Sioux to cover this guy. It was hilarious. And then so did he get fired? Up, he ended up getting fired. So oh, for crying! Man. Why? Well, I heard suspended. Well, not fired, just sent home for yes, the rest of the year, kind of thing. Oh, it's and stupid. He, that oh. you know what? This is the thing. Yeah, they. <laughs> has nothing to do with hockey. All he's talking about are the chicks in the Sioux being gross. And for somebody that's been to the Sioux, I can I can I can vouch I for it. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, and and, yeah. and, and, and it, it, that's just his his opinion. His act. What what, can, what if he's sitting around a bar talking to guys after a game, mm-hmm. and he and that you guys talk about it, and you know David Branch is behind him or something. Then mm-hmm. they then they get involved in his personal life. That's yeah, it. It's a breach of per- He should yeah. sue the OHL. That's what he I, should do. I, I totally agree. He's one of the top guys, too. So, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. Like you said, he's just telling the truth. It's hilarious. From our he calls it as he sees stuff. it. That's why he's a ref. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as you said, best call he's probably made. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We don't make too many good ones. He's like, uh, Sue Saint Marie, two words, slim pickings. Hashtag no teeth. Hashtag kick down. Hashtag all fatties. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, right, you, you tell that guy. You tell that guy he's got all our support. <laughs> all right, buddy. Thank you. Okay, take tell care, the man. call in. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's absolutely right. <laughs> all fatties. <laughs> Hashtag no teeth. <laughs> He's totally right. You can't. Hey, you can't hey, you, hang on. Good, man. Sorry, one sec. You can't get pissy with a guy for doing that. No. It's funny, man. Hi, The Edge. Hey, how are you today? Good, man. What's up? Uh, not much. I was wondering if you guys have uh, seen that video about the Barry cops. Yeah. That kid. About what? Beating up that kid that uh, came back to the bowling center. No. Yeah. No, you no. should Google it, man. It's actually pretty disgusting. A Google cop, a cop beat up some kid at a some Barry well, cop beat up. Back, a kid. Uh, they came, they left from bowling, and uh, I guess they uh, the one. <laughs> Maybe the cop beat him up because bowling's gay. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, but no, man, it was it was a brutal beating. Like it's oh. actually disgusting to watch. When was it? Uh, it happened the other thing not too long ago. It's in the courts right now. I just. Thought I'd get the word out there for people to look at the video. Oh, who, took yeah. the, who took the video of it? Is it a good one? It's, it's a security uh, cam. It, there's no audio, oh. unfortunately. It's one of those like security cams that I don't think the oh. cop knew it was there. See that bad He's boy? He's getting uh, just uh, pummeled. Beat yeah, pretty so, good. Like, I think if you YouTube, it's like John Stern uh, bowling or whatever. Ontario, Canada cop beating a citizen. <laughs> oh, and the security guards are holding him down as the cops feeding him too. Yeah. Like, it's brutal, man. He goes out cold for, like, five minutes. <laughs> He's out, and they're still pounding on him. Yeah. It's Why did they beat bad. him up? Why did they take him out? Well, they knocked down a Christmas ornament. And That's then he all he did? His, his friend did, and then he forgot his wallet, so he went back to get it, and the security guard said, you know, you got to wait here for the cops to show up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what, uh... And then they just started beating him. It looks like the oh, kid maybe started... says something, but it doesn't look like it. there's any yeah. reason no, for... He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. attack him or nothing, but the cop just goes right at him. And it's in court right now? I believe so, yeah. I haven't heard of this at all. Yeah, well, it's, uh, that's what's going on up here in Barrie. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what's hip-hop. going on up there in Barrie. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, unbelievable, dude. Incredible. That's a crazy Watch. video. Yeah. Yeah, and he just is. pounds him, like right there. It just, he just comes out of Like, it would make it that much better, but. Like, Either what? way, I just thought you guys should uh, see that, and uh, you've been doing a good job. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should post Take this care, on your right? blog. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, oh, yeah. Later. The cop just starts kicking his ass for, like, uh,. And you, the and security you, guard too, eh? Yeah, secu- those guys yeah. are the worst. Oh my goodness! If you show me one security guard with a sense of con- uh, like any any common sense at all or any pride <laughs> at all. And I'll tell you, that he should be a police officer. I think that's the bowling alley that's in the malls. I think those are mall cops, actually. Mall cops, even yeah. better. Paul Blart. <laughs> <laughs> that's an unbelievable video. Did he get hurt, the kid? Was he like, because he was knocked out? Was he long term yeah, hurt? Like Did he say anything? Story, like he's pretty hurt. Mm. Yeah, because he's unconscious, I guess. Yeah, he wasn't getting up. <laughs> <At> the edge. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he was turtling. Hello. Hi, The Edge. Hey, Daniel, what's up, buddy? What's up, dude? Oh, I was actually uh, wondering if I could comment on Todd's thing about how the Leafs fans need to wake up. What's that? Leafs fans need to wake up in the stands. It's really oh, yeah. in that uh, building. Yeah, that's what Todd was saying. Yeah. He was there last night, and he remembers <laughs> most of it. Thank you, Todd. You are a beauty. <laughs> oh, thank you. It, it really was embarrassing, though. Like, I mean, granted, when they Why? scored a couple goals in the third, they sort of came alive at that point. But well, the sit- son goes a showstopper. What, ha- what happened there? What just happened? What did, he, was what did you say? Sorry, dude. Sorry, I said the final goal was a showstopper. Yeah. And, and school's only gone in 30 seconds, and I'm going right back to sleep. It's true. It, it really is sad. It really... And, and you know, this is coming mm. from... I, I've, fortunately, I've been to a couple of their arenas in, in, in the last few years, and you, you know, if you start to compare it to a Washington or a Boston or, or Nashville or... Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different. Or Joe Louis Arena. It's a party. Everything's a party. And then you come yeah, here to Toronto. Well, you know what the problem is? Town. I know it's hockey town, but the problem it's is... It's but we need to act like it. This guy, I love this guy. <laughs> if we could have... Pa- I would like to put 16,000 U's in yes. the Air Canada Center. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming at my TV. <laughs> How's that go again? Now he's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I've said it before. I've said it for well, for as long as I've lived here, 12, 13 years, that uh, every single time I'm, I'm at a Leaf game or I watch the Leaf game on TV, <clears throat> 
the lower bowl is completely empty for the first five to seven minutes of every period. Yes. So God forbid the Leafs score in that time period because all these rich pricks go to their suites and eat sushi off of their mistress's backsides in the <laughs> linen closets. And you would think cocaine would get them going. But yeah. I think be, <laughs> just makes them want to talk on their yeah, phones Yeah, you'd think more. they'd be really more focused and into it, you know? Yeah. But it's doing, a, doing blow in the bathroom with their with secretary. And to be, I'm being completely honest, too. There was a guy right next to us last night in a suit. Looked like he was all jonesing out on something, okay? <laughs> but it's like, I think they go through this double-edged sword where they're all messed up on something, you can tell, but they're too embarrassed to scream because they don't know who's watching them. So they end up just picking their nails and stuff. And like, <laughs> so th- this guy was just fidgety. Like, he wanted to scream. He was all messed up on something, but he couldn't let it go. <laughs> yeah, God forbid you don't get him a Coke fast enough yeah. or like a, a bag of chips or something, because uh, that's when he really loses it. Oh, yeah. uh, but if the Leafs score in overtime... Well, that was oh, good. yes. But he's tearing apart his hands. Yeah. Like, you just, yeah. he's picking at the him. cuticles. <laughs> yeah. 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 Biting his, biting his knuckles. <laughs> and not because the game was a nail biter. Yeah, they should build all future arenas. If they build this new one in Markham, they should just build it so it's all focused on, on the, uh, on they the can. ice surface. Yeah, that's the problem with the Leafs. Yeah. That's one of the biggest problems of the Leafs is or the people that can afford tickets aren't there to watch the hockey game. It's a networking thing. Yeah. It's just a business thing. Hey, we're going to grease you with Leafs tickets. Hey, uh, come to the Leaf game. We can finish this deal. Hey, so they don't, you know, they score and they sit up and they're <clears> still, they, they stand up and everybody in the upper bowl that's paid an arm and a leg for those tickets anyway and can't see crap yeah. <clears throat> are cheering their asses off and all the business folk are in the, the, the nice seats and, and, and they're going like this, like after they, they score. Yeah. So anyway, I was just thinking that uh, what we would what do just is happened? we'd roll. What just happened? We'd roll that into uh, an, an RSP, and then uh, after we roll it in the RSP, so what, hang on just one second. Can I get a gin and tonic? Thanks. Yeah, so we'll roll that into an RSP, and then uh, I'm in a phone tomorrow, and we'll get that private equity thing going. How's that sound? And then, Dude, honestly, oh, I, and, scored. and I was there last night. That is exactly what happened, On, and, and exactly that. And it's almost embarrassing. You feel like you can't cheer either. You yeah. feel like they're going to look down. Like a, oh, I've had people tell me to you. keep it down oh. after we scored. And I got up with my kid, and we were screaming high five. And guy goes, hey, can you sit down? Yeah. Can you, can you get on your knees for a second while I undo my belt? <laughs> and, you know, that's a true story. I, I, I actually had tweeted about, I was like, cheer, you douches, or something. And after, at some like later on in the night, I got a direct message back from one leaf. Yeah. Who was just laughing at that? Like they, <laughs> and they even see it too. And, and you know, it encourages them to play. Yeah. Back. Like it really does. How awful would it be to come out onto the ice and see the lower bowl half empty? There's no energy there. No, there never is, especially after a period. It's crazy. We can't do anything about it though. They have all no, the money. I yeah. Know. yeah. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Oh my God, I love it. I love the it. Dean I love Blundell it. Show. I love balls. One hundred two point one. I like balls too. The edge. Usually we pit drug head against Archie. Archie's not here. Uh, so uh, we, we we sent you out to go do a bit. Now now your street bit was what? What was the question you were asking people? I asked people if they were going to have a Super Bowl on Sunday. Oh, okay, <laughs> I get it. Because you were high when you asked people the question. Uh. And that's a play on words. If yeah. they're going to have a Super Bowl of weed, mm-hmm. well, huh. here uh, it is. I'm worried. Drugheads on the mic today. He wants to see what people have to say. Hey, it's Drughead on the mic, back out on the streets. And today, I am trying to find out if people will be enjoying a Super Bowl this Sunday. I know I just enjoyed a Super Bowl, or as a Super Blunt, but whatever. Yeah. Same difference. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Are so you going to be having a Super Bowl this weekend? No. No? Don't you don't like uh, marijuana? No. Oh. And then, uh, you mind if I ask some questions God. about Super Bowl? I'm sort of sure. I can walk that way. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. How's it going? Hi. How are you? Good, thanks. You might have to talk to for the radio quick. Pardon me? Talk to for the radio quick? Nothing. No? That's the second week in a row you said yeah, no to right. me. Some other time. One day, one of these days one I'll get you. Days. Thank you very much, sir. You too. <laughs> hey, man, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Sure. A question? Sure. Are, are you going to be having a Super Bowl this weekend? No. No? No. Don't, don't like uh, smoking marijuana? No. 
Okay, fair enough. Well, used to. Two each is a, oh, used, used to, to, eh? Let's hear some stories. <laughs> no! No? All right. You have a good day. You too. Bye. No, 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 no. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. You want I was just wondering uh, if I could talk to you quickly. No? no? Okay. I like your pimp hat. Thank you. Can I ask you a uh, question for the radio quick time? Huh? What's up? Uh, the radio. Huh? The radio. Uh, the Edge. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are, are, uh, are you going to be having a Super Bowl this Sunday? We're going to have a Super Bowl party, yeah. Super yeah. Bowl party? Yeah. There's going to be multiple Super Bowls? No, there's going to be one Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh, one Super Bowl? Yeah, there's going to be multiple parties. Oh, how many people share the one Super Bowl? Uh, I don't know. If thing. there's like more than one person one Super Bowl. smoking a Super one, Bowl. Yeah, then. one Super Bowl and all the teammates share the Super Bowl, I think. No, no, but if there's like <laughs> more than one person smoking a Super Bowl. Smoking a Super Bowl. Ah, yes, how, yes. How are it, is everybody <laughs> going to get baked? <laughs> Off one Super Bowl. You gotta do a It's gotta be a big Super Bowl. Hey ma'am, how are you? Can I, can I ask you a question? Okay. Back to the Wizard of Oz. You think a dairy if I only had a brain. Drugheads on the mic today. He wants to see what people have to say. 102.1 The Edge. Uh, just sort of ended. It'd take you four minutes to do that? What, did you just do it in the lobby? No. You just do that in the lobby of, like, this building or something? We don't play Wizard of Oz here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was no end. It just stopped. <laughs> it was a Super Bowl. <laughs> you are so stupid. What are we going to do? We're in trouble. Yeah. One doesn't even show up. <laughs> Archie didn't even get here. He yeah. didn't tell us. No. It'd be fun if he slapped himself in the face really hard, maybe. With a knife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys... This world is in. No, yeah. <laughs> this is the Dean Blundell Show. We are dickhead free. 102.1, The Edge. Leafs won again last night, 4-3. and three. Nice little surprise start to the season. Uh, Matt Fratton uh, playing uh, some terrific hockey, and he, he came up from the AHL's Toronto Marlies. There's a good value. Go see some of those guys play. Plus, yeah. the first. However, one of those guys, too, Mike Koska. And, Todd, you got to know Mike Koska a little bit from uh, you just, you know, drinking. Yeah, well, you know, I, I the, the the few days I was just hanging out here when you guys were on Christmas break, he came in and promoted a Marley's game, and he's a good guy. He came from, uh, is it Norfolk? Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. And um, actually, he was the guy who eliminated the Marley's last year in the playoffs, which is a funny story. He ma- made it to the Marley's, and then and then uh, now he's with the big squad, and, and get to know him right now. Oh, baby. Now, the Dean Wendell Show presents... Get to know your Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, we're recording. Uh, Mike Koska, newest Maple Leaf, playing with the big squad. And, you know, you're 26 now, right? Seven. 27. Years young. And, yeah. Wow, yeah, well, you're looking great, man. Yeah, I feel great. Is, it, is it a lot of pressure for you? Or are you just having fun with it? And, you know, taking your moment and just saying, yeah, you know what, this is my time to shine. And just let us roll up from there. Yeah, I mean, for me, there's been a lot of preparation to get to this point. It's been a long journey. And, I mean, it, it's just continuing now. It's been a lot of fun for me. If you put too much pressure on your yourself in this game you're not going to perform and so I just like I said do my best to have fun on, on the daily I mean the wins the losses they all come with it but if you keep, yeah. a, good, keep a good outlook on I think it, and I mean it's not a bad job to have so no, it'd be pretty it, silly to not have fun with it with, with that being said a charter flight has got to be a hell of a lot better than a bus yeah I mean <laughs> last year in Norfolk our closest road game was six and a half hours away and we bust that there and we bust just about everywhere so I think I've toured about everywhere in North America on a bus and so it is nice to hop on a plane every do people day. poop on those buses or is there a rule about that yeah are you allowed no allowed it's a fine okay it is a fine it's a fine (laughs) like a team fine or an actual money goes to the team yeah 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 it's sanctioned by the american hockey league no it's it's an inner 
you're fine because the guys, everyone else is going to have to put up with that. So what do you have to do if you really, you just pay the fine if you really have to go? You, uh, I've seen it happen once where a guy literally before he went there, he just handed the $100 over and walked to the back. But I love it. Pay to poop, man. <laughs> <laughs> but if, uh, no, everyone, they, uh, it's just a known thing and you, you prepare yourself for the trip, whether it means going before or whatever. That's awesome. Hey, so did you have an idea you are going to make the team? When I had signed in the summer, they had said to me, if, if you deserve the spot, you'll get it. You know, well, I'm not going to reserve a spot for a guy just because he's a first rounder or because he's making a lot of money, whatever, the, whoever's best fit for the job will get it. And I got the opportunity to go to camp and I feel like I had a good camp. And, uh, I guess a few days later I was told I was on the team. So. You're, such a, you're such a good, humble guy. I mean, it seems like the whole squad's actually filled with a lot of really good guys. Yeah, you know what? It's it's great. It's it's hard to be a bad guy in hockey. And, yeah. uh, guy, is there one ass? <laughs> yeah, 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 seriously. Yeah, no, yeah. It's that cool in isn't yeah. it? No. <laughs> you can't say it just because he doesn't understand what you're yeah. saying. <laughs> no, but honestly, everyone's been great. It's, it's about the friendships and everything you take away. You are a good guy. So, so and how's the personal life going? Is there things you can, can't talk about? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, the personal life's been good. Honestly, we've been so busy. We've been all over the place. Yeah. And so, for me, it's just like when I've gotten home and, you know, going through all like the text it all and, 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 and That's you know, personal, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, like the big jump from the Marley Solis, I'm sure you're getting like double the text messages at least. <laughs> from family and friends, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> but honestly, I like my downtime to just relax. It's been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks here. So the, so I can't even ask you if there's a difference between AHL puck bunnies and NHL puck bunnies. <laughs> I have no response to okay. that. <laughs> well, you're good, man. Mike Koska, knock, knock. Who's there? Greasy. Greasy. Food. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, there how pathetic. How That's, pathetic. Yeah, Dean probably put you up to that. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been doing it for six years. It's the only creative, funny thing I can come up with. That one joke or just yes. knock knock jokes? Well, sorry. there's two. There's like, you can go eat my. P- oh, okay. Eat, yeah. I'm not going to fall for it. <laughs> no, <time>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Hey, listen, Koska, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you and, and kick some ass. It's great to see you up with a big team, and, and uh, we can laugh at Sigmanis now. <laughs> no, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> only about his vegetable <laughs> eating. Oh, Oh, the vegan stuff. The vegans, yeah. I think that's all. the problem. That's what, you got battle scars already, eh? Right, yeah, no, I got beat up out there. That's good. I don't have Ziggy to protect me out there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Okay, good luck with the season. Okay, good to see you. Get to know your Toronto Maple Leafs on 102.1 The Edge. The Chorus Broadcasting System presents the Dean Blundell Show. It's going to be a super-duper program for you. 102.1 The Edge. So I was at the Leaf game last night. He is absolutely hung to the tits. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> At the edge. Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going, boys? Good. Hey, let's like talk about the Leafs. Yeah. Do you think uh, if they started winning, the fans would change a little bit? No, I don't. Get worse. Get worse? Yeah, I, I don't think. Dude, they're winning now. I mean, we're four and three. This is I, They've already in seven games exceeded every expectation I've had for them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think the fans, too. So don't, you know, I, I don't because the same people still get the best seats to those games and it drives me nuts. Well, Derek's right. They will. It would get worse because generally what happens is the corporate guys give away the tickets when they're not doing well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you ask any business that, that sort of thrives on, on, on the kind of corporate spending just before the games and or after the games. If, if it's, if, you know, what they deem just regular guys who aren't spending a lot of money, they don't do as well when, when they're losing because of that. So they, they go to the games when they're winning. Yeah, the fans cheer. If if you could if you could bottle every Leaf fan's um, excitement after a goal mm-hmm. in the house and pipe it into the actual building, now that would be something. Remember during the playoffs, when you're watching it on TV, if, if they scored a goal, you could honestly open your window mm-hmm. and hear horns honking and stuff out on the. Street. I don't. I don't remember that. You don't. No. That was that was oh back in aught four. Okay, yeah, that's that's why I don't remember it. Uh, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good reason right yeah, there. Yeah. In the edge. Hello? Hi. Hey, you know when you're, you're just saying uh, a minute ago how like real fans down in Buffalo get to sit in the good seats and all that? Yeah. I just wanted to tell you, every, I'm 32. Every year since I was 12, my dad's been taking me to Leaf game for my birthday. And um, the last time uh, I was the last lockout like eight years ago, Anyways, um, we couldn't get leaf tickets when the lockout was over. So he took me down to Buffalo, just like you know, keep the tradition alive. And, oh, um, that's good we were we were four rows back from the rink, and the tickets were sixty bucks. Yeah, like it was ridiculous. I couldn't believe it. Like it was those like four or five hundred bucks up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, easily a piece. I think to sit in in, in the best seats in at, at Maple Leaf or at uh, what do you call that Air Canada Center, I think it's 
it's it's like three, four, five hundred bucks. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, for sure. Isn't for like, one yeah, ticket, yeah. one ticket, yep. not yeah. two, one. Yep. Isn't it like ten bucks down in Phoenix? I think it's free. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they pay you. Yeah, Florida, they pay it's like ten, twenty bucks. Yeah, no, yeah. Florida had this deal where you got season tickets for ninety nine dollars. Yeah, in Tampa Bay, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Isn't that a crazy? <laughs> ninety nine bucks. And here they gave you, you could go watch a practice for free. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those free already? Yeah, but we'll give you some popcorn. Man, you guys are great. Hi, The Edge. Morning, boys. How's she going? Good. How you doing? Not bad. I just wanted to let you know I moved to Southern Ontario about 11, 12 years ago, and I was looking for radio stations. I tuned into The Edge, and that's when you guys were talking about uh, the CBC Olympics. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, yeah. How long ago? Like 11 or 12 years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you guys were going on about uh, how you guys were the official radio station of the Olympics and whatever. I was killing myself laughing. I just wanted to say that I listen every day and you guys got to Oh, thanks, show. Thanks, man. Thanks wow. very much. I appreciate it. I think Thank we you. were talking a lot about uh, Brian Williams. Is that no, his name? And his, and his elongated kind of... Oh, when he talks right? about the Olympics, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh, okay, a long, a time long time ago. ago. Yeah. Hey, the edge. Hey, good morning. I was at that game last night too, but uh, I guess the funniest thing that happened was the dude was on the uh, the kiss cam, obviously with somebody that he wasn't supposed to be there. You didn't buy into that, did oh, you? Oh, dude, it's a it's yeah, a they, it's a gas. It's a joke. Staged. Come it's on. a setup. It's like they're on, actors. Look, you think? No, I, I know they are. Funny. No, because my buddy used to, he yeah. did that for like five years. I think he still does it. His name's Scott. Uh, yeah. It does get them going, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy's good. like, hey, did you see that guy get caught with the wrong chick last night? It was the biggest cheer last <laughs> night. Forget about Fratton's game yeah. winner. That was the biggest cheer. <laughs> it was when the guy got caught cheating on the yeah. kiss cam? Well, it was the girl oh. actually was like embarrassed of the guy and then laughed and the guy's just sitting there kind of in his own shame. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, he got rejected. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, that, yeah. now that yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now that's something I can relate to. It's, on the edge. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, just uh, calling in. When do I get to get on the radio? Right now. You're on, man. Awesome. Hey, uh, man, I listen to you guys all the time. I love you guys. We love but, you. Uh, you know what? I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, and you guys suck. Why? Now, I don't know. Like, I love Sault Ste. Marie, and the women are hot. And are they? Guys, yeah, they are. And then you guys make fun of them, and you guys are just <laughs> for doing it. Hey, dude, what language, dude? Language, language. Just chill out. And we didn't really make fun of yeah. We were just Listen, laughing at the... do you have sisters up there? I have a sister up there? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Okay, well, this is why you have a problem with it. I wasn't insulting your sister, and she's probably hot. Well, yeah. So maybe. just relax. Just relax. And, and you know, I was only agreeing with what the referee said was that there are not many attractive females there, as opposed to here. And that's that was his opinion. So you don't have to start calling people C jobs and F words just because they dif- difference of opinion with you. How old are you? <laughs> I'm uh, 28. Yeah. Okay, dude. Girl, just, just relax. You're okay. <laughs> yeah. Just, I like the Sioux. It's a nice a, area. There's good fishing. One, you know? Yeah, I know, but you don't have to defend it by swearing at people. It's just a, an area of the of, of the province, and it was just someone's it's, opinion. It's just more. It's just more funnier if I do. All right, okay. okay. And well, I your, get it. You're yeah. being funny. And have your hot sister send us pics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get that hog to send us a shot of her ass. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure she has her teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell that hog sister yours. I want to see a little booty. <laughs> Derek's like putting her teeth. Yeah, little titty shots. <laughs> At the edge. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. How's it going? What's up? Um, those Leaf fans—they're terrible. Yeah. Well, they're not fans, dude. Yeah true but you know the organization i think they got to get like the game crew out there and start firing them up too right what game crew they got a game crew yeah, they just they, they have that lady you know what i always laughed about is they'd stick some really uncomfortable blonde haired lady yeah. in a in an exit somewhere yeah. with a fan going <laughs> they, okay leaf fans here's the deal we're doing some trivia, trivia. <laughs> is it no a? Which number 17 was the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs from this time to this time with a mustache? Lanny McDonald, Builder Lego, 
or Wendell Clark. And Wendell's right behind you going, hey, it's me, it's me, it's me, I swear. And everybody in the stands is so stupid. They're going, it's the guy behind you. That's him. Turn around. That's him. I love the guys who are like, it's C. Like they don't even say Wendell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's correct. You yeah. want a new phone. Yeah. Yeah. When you get, when you look at like Dallas and Carolina. That's exciting, eh? Yeah. 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 Don't, don't get hot chicks clean in the ice. You know, don't shoot hot dogs into the stands. Don't show funny videos. No. <laughs> Let's get some super boring housewife to ask <laughs> trivia questions in an exit somewhere. No, they, now they got like a Mr. Mom doing it. Like yeah. They, yeah. Oh, do they really? Yeah, yeah. Some guy? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. It's exactly the guy. <laughs> All right, fans. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Which Maple Leaf was just honored by being retired into the Hall of Fame? Is it A, Ace Bailey, B, Thomas Caberlet, which is funny, still playing for the Canadians, or C, Matt Sundy, and he's right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and people get into it. That's the oh, most yeah, messed yeah. up part. They're yeah. like, it's Matt, it's Matt Sundy. It's me. Come on. He's right behind you. Jesus Christ, turn around! <laughs> the bald guy! <laughs> the bald guy. Yeah. Uh, C! That is yeah. correct! Oh, yeah. Way to go, fella! Sport. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, who needs to see chicks in bikinis on the ice when you got yeah. that guy in the stands going, yeah. Is it the guy right behind you? <laughs> For a brand new VTech phone. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, dude, because it's exactly what they did last yeah, night. <laughs> it's, it's really well done. <laughs> Hi, the edge. Hey, what's going on, boys? How much? How you doing? Good, good. Back to these least dummy fans. Uh, my uh, company's pretty big, and we got a box which includes about 15 seats right behind the glass. And uh, every game that we don't use those seats, we go find little kids that have bad seats, and we give it to them. So they can watch season. the game. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. That's cool. And right? you know what? You know what? Other other not so like minded business people are doing. They're phoning Jerry the scalper to see if they can get a hundred bucks over face value for him. Yeah, it's brutal, man. So that's exactly what we do. We go up high. We look for these kids that are wearing hockey jerseys, whatever. Yeah. And we give them our seats. See, this is I like. Very you. nice. You it should was, name your company. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name yeah. of the company? Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca Cola. Uh, hey, yeah. heard of them? Yeah, we love them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. You be yeah. good. Thanks for your time. Okay, take care, boys. Take care. Did you get the email, though? The problem with that sometimes, someone said last night they were up in the greens and it was electric up there. They loved it. They got moved down yeah, behind Washington's bench. And it was like the most boring time. They're saying <laughs> business people didn't have a clue what was going on. Someone got scared by the goal horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this. this. Is your edge Hold it. files <laughs> with Dean Blundell on the edge? Uh, dude in Brazil got arrested for uh, allegedly trying to give women more than the Holy Spirit, his own, including a 23 year old woman who preferred to remain anonymous, saying he convinced us only that God would come into our lives through the mouth. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Often after worship, Pastor Vladisir would take us uh, some of the funds back to the church, ask us to do this thing, said the Holy Spirit will uh, appear if we did this and uh, had to do it with the mouth. You know exactly what it is. I don't have to repeat it because it's an egregious oh. form of abuse. It's terrible. How do you convince someone? I feel, t- I feel terrible even bringing the story up because of what it's associated with. But for the love of God, anybody knows that that's not the case. It's through the butt. With a thermometer. It's making sure you're all yeah. right. You're well to be Good a Jesus to lover. The Lord. Yeah. No, it's just it's terrible. It's, it's stupid. It's well, a- he'll get his in jail. I ho- oh, yeah. And yeah. yeah, then that ain't Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope. My name is Jesus. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Six foot ten and very angry. <laughs> yeah. And uncircumcised. <laughs> and when guys do this, they never think it's going to come back. Man, I hope he gets it. Yeah. It's terrible. Awful. Mm-hmm. Big road raid inc- incident that uh, turned weird. 
The other day, a 17-year-old and 22-year-old uh, got into an argument that escalated. One guy pulled a, a chainsaw out of his car and came after the guy, and that's when the other guy pulled a uh, 12-inch knife out of the car as well as a shotgun. They started walking towards each other. Chainsaw. Go. Can you imagine that? You know what it was from? <laughs> Old school. The guy, the guy uh, didn't turn his clicker on to turn right, and the guy, uh, the guy behind him was pissed, so he chased him down with a chainsaw, that's... and then they went after each other. With ch- no. For a Shotguns. clicker. Yeah, yeah, it didn't turn. <laughs> It's <laughs> awesome. Imagine watching that. That oh. would be a great YouTube video. Yeah, that'd be the best. Hey, look at this. Oh, that guy just raised him a, a buoy knife <laughs> and, a, and a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I raised you a chainsaw. That's road rage. I've never been that mad. And I always like, you know what I like to do is I like to pull up next to the person, assess mm. t- as to whether or not if it was to get into fisticuffs, if I would win. Sure. Yeah, and I yell at every old lady. I go, yeah, why not, right? right? Yeah, yeah you want to kick your ass. Yeah, I'm going to kick your ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know I can. <laughs> you and your cane, I don't care. <laughs> Call me an opportunist, but. Yeah. Uh, conversation with two passengers landed in uh, a tow truck driver in jail after his cell phone pocket dialed 911 and dispatchers listened in to 19-year-old Matthew Dollarhide. Doing a cocaine slash crack deal. Oh, no. <laughs> they were talking about selling drugs. Deputies were alerted at 942. They tried to find the location of the cell phone signal. Uh, from the conversation, they learned uh, two guys were trying to buy and sell cocaine and crack. Uh, indeed, one time when the guy tried it, the guy that bought the drugs said, Yeah, this is good crack. <laughs> Officers then tracked him down, and uh, sure enough, Dollar Hyde was arrested and charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. He told the, <laughs> the police, this, is a, this, is, this, this guy's a good guy. He said, no, man, that's my girlfriend's crack pipe. Oh. Go arrest her. <laughs> she has a deep voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, Halton police are investigating two separate incidents in which a man exposed himself to women in the Aldershot area of Burlington, Ontario, right around here. First incident, police said the uh, suspect exposed himself to a woman in an underground parking lot of an apartment building late Tuesday night. Man walked away without further incident. The next one, though, not so much. Thursday morning, a man exposed himself to a woman in a townhouse complex, and when she expressed her disgust, she was punched in the face. Oh, no. He must have been so embarrassed. It was cold. <laughs> he could have just said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cold. Oh, I think that was that 15-degree day, though. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah, it was. No excuses. Yeah, it wasn't that cold. <laughs> <laughs> the suspect is described as white, 20 to 30 years old, 5 foot 8 slim build, wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and light-colored track pants. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah, yeah total <laughs> dick. <laughs> what a dick. Hey, what do you think of this? Yeah. Oh, man, that's Loser. gross. <laughs> Good for the lady, though. Yeah. That thing, look at that little tiny thing. Yeah, I'm not intimidated, you loser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't be intimidated by something that small. I can't be. Good for her. Hope they find the dick. Yeah. And those are the Edge Files, whatever the hell day it is in uh, February of the year 2013. Yeah! The Edge Files! On 102.1, The Edge! Oh, oh. This is oh, oh. the Dean Blundell Show. Oh, oh. She took a hard fall off there. Blundell. I can't breathe. Oh, oh, oh boy. dear. Gosh, I hope she's okay. 102.1. Ow, 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 ow. The Edge. Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? What, what happened? What happened? Ain't nobody got time for this. They cut my wiener. It's crazy. It's fun to just to keep pressing buttons. Do it for like 20 minutes. All right. Okay. <laughs> what the f*** happened? Hi, The Edge. What's up, bud? What's up, dude? Hey, Dana. Okay, I got an epic story that I think would be a good public service announcement for your fans to not drink too much for the Super Bowl weekend. All righty. All right, so the uh, first time I ever drank with my brother, he came to visit me in London at uh, Western. I was in a uh, resident shit there. Uh, I'm trying to show off, of course, because I'm 19. I'm a big shot now. I got to I gotta show off my bigger brother. He brings a bottle of uh, 40 Schmirat vanilla with him, and there's a very... Uh, very uh, haunting song in my memory of called Down in One. I don't know if you ever heard this song. Down in one, down in one, down in one. Down the whole bottle. So I'm a mess at this point. I'm doing half and half Ryan Gingers. Uh, across the hall, we're partying in, the, in our room. Across the hall is the girl I lost my virginity to. Oh! So boring. Damn it. 
Hi, The Edge. Hi, Dean. Hey, man. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Hey, Hi. what happened? Hey, what happened? What happened? What the f- happened? Do it. Well, at university, I tried to uh, go with this midget, and she wouldn't have sex with me because my wiener was too small. Oh, hmm. you're making that up. Yeah. And are you uh, making that up? No, I honest to God, I'm not. I was up at Lakehead University, and there's this <laughs> little midget that was there. I mean, honestly, I was good friends with her, and pretty much the friendship went sour because we tried it, and she honestly laughed in my face when she saw my wiener. It's about maybe three inches hard. Oh, man. we got to have a support group for guys like you because we had a guy win yesterday that had a one-incher. I know. It's called micro penis. It's, it's, it's an actual disorder. I know people that have it, and I, I, I can't even... Like, every time you look at him, you just go, you know what? I know what's going on in those pants, and I feel so bad for you. And because as a man, that's a huge it, validator. You know what I mean? It, that's, a, that's a big one. It's really all we have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all we are. And that's the ultimate insult, too, isn't it? Yep. A midget laughing at it. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Edge. Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay. So, um, I'm what's your name? Sarah. What happened? Hey, what happened? Hey, what happened? What, what happened? What the f- happened? Hi. Okay, so I was getting intimate with a guy, yeah. and um, we were, I was kind of like on a dresser, so he was like in front of me, and um, it happened really quickly, so we kind of just, I kind of just got rid of my clothes, and they were right underneath me, so I was like propped up on the dresser, you know, whatever, we did our thing, and then he left. So I'm like tidying up, whatever, getting myself together, and I look at my pants on the floor, and he, and I look at the floor, and there's like, like a light orange substance everywhere, and I'm assuming it came from him, and to this day I have still not like, light I orange, huh? Yeah, so like oh, you know what that like, is? I'll tell you something. Yeah, that this is a, you, that that guy's got some very unhealthy man junk. And that means he's very unhealthy if it's orange. Yeah. Yeah. It's really radioactive. Yeah. <laughs> Does he work like at a nuclear plant or something? That's, <laughs> that Maybe he is... drinks a lot of Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> at the edge. Hello. Hello. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Not bad. Yeah. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet, I guess. I uh, used to babysit this uh, MILF's kids back in the day. And uh, I went to work one day, come home from work, go inside, and uh, I look out on the back deck, and there she is sitting with my father. She ended up dating my dad and moving in and living with us for three years. How hot was she? Uh, she went downhill like the rest of them do, but when I had her, she was probably about a seven or eight. Oh, you were tapping oh, that? You, you were tapping that? You- I tapped her before my dad did. Oh, oh that's so that's gross. Hey, did you did you do the whole? You left that part out, <laughs> yeah. man. I came home. I, I tapped her. I came home one day, and she's sitting there on the back deck with my dad, and they end up dating and date, and she lived in our house for three years. That's a little awkward at, at breakfast and Christmas, huh? Yeah, you think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, the edge. Hey guys. Hey, who's this? It's Amber. Hi, Amber. How are you? Not bad. How are you? Good. What happened? Hey, what happened? So I want to tell you about the worst move ever. Okay. Uh, so a few years ago, I my ex left. We were married. And we lived in a townhouse, the lease under his name. And he decided that um, he was just going to cancel the lease and not tell me. And at the time, our kids were one and three. Mm-hmm. And so my landlord comes and says, hey, you guys have to be out in like 10 days. And it was summer, so he didn't have to, like, we didn't have to get like the full amount of notice. Mm-hmm. Um, so he like, he kicked us out of our place. I had to try and scramble to get a place. In the meantime, I had just been diagnosed out, uh, with lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. So I was so sick. So, so how, how many kids did you do you have? Two. Yeah, two kids. How old were they when this dickhead just decided up and go? One and three. One and three. Is that what she said? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. paying attention. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, and 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 he canceled the lease for yeah. just to be a spiteful dick, or did you do something to piss him off? Well, no, because I told him because like he want we had a plan. We knew we weren't staying together. I said, "Give yeah. me a couple months, and I'll get a place for the kids and I, and then we'll part our ways." Yep. Um, but I said, in the meantime, you're going to have to help me pay the rent at this place. Mm-hmm. He left and was living with his mom and dad. He didn't have rent to pay anywhere else. So I said, "You're going to have to help me pay the rent at this place because I can't do it on my own." 
and he got pissed off because he didn't want to pay the rent where mm -hmm. where the kids and I were living. So he's just like, or sorry, excuse me. So he just uh, didn't want to pay the rent and said, no, yeah, well, I don't have to pay the rent if I don't have the lease. Oh. He canceled the lease. So anyways, I, and I was, it was just a super, super, super sick. So moving day, I have nothing ready because I'm so sick. I can't get anything ready. Because you got I've lupus. Got, yeah. And I've got the kids. And so my family comes over, help me get everything ready. Well, moving day, while everyone's trying to help me pack, I have a seizure. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like full-blown seizure. And he's on his way over, and he decided he wants to be a dick and bring the cops with him because he's trying to prove something that I don't even know what. Mm -hmm. And uh, hmm. so everybody's trying to get me to the hospital, get the kids out of the house, because they don't want the kids to be there when he shows up acting like that with cops. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on because I'm not even with it. Mm -hmm. And I wake up in the hospital like five days later and I don't even know where I live. And I'm praying to God my family has the kids because if he got a hold of them, we didn't have any like court order set up or anything yet. And, you know, it was just the beginning of everything and he was doing everything he could to make, make it as hard as possible. And uh, it was just the worst experience ever. You had me at seizure. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> you win. You're a winner on the Bill oh Waddell Show. No, Yay. I, this it, like, I'm taking my brother. He's the biggest hit fan ever. And, mm -hmm. oh, my God, he's going to freak. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, let me let me just uh, sh shed some light to all of you gentlemen that uh, choose to walk away from your responsibilities. I totally understand divorce. I'm the first guy. But you jackasses that go ahead and give everybody a hard time just for the sake of giving them a hard time or not taking care of your responsibilities financially, and trust me, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trust me. Um, you you guys can suck it. You guys oh, are, yeah. He's not a man. You're better Absolutely off without him. Not. And you know what? As hard as it was, still the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Do you have the kids now? I do, yeah. Oh, I have custody. Oh, good, good for you. Yeah. Thanks. Good. Well, congratulations, Todd. I'll tell you what you've won. All right, you're going to go see on. the Tragically Hip. Bring your brother. Have fun on the 14th. Just don't do anything romantic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a world of trouble. I wonder where she's from. Where are you from, ma'am? I'm from Hamilton. Yeah, she uh -huh. might do something. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. The Team Blundell Show, 102.1. Yeah. To the beat, y'all. I'm licking my lips. My fingers is sticky. Who's in the house? It's psychic Nikki. Yeah, come on. Uh, oh. Me, your life is full of sorrow. Y'all listen up, this chick sees tomorrow. Oh, get mad. It's like that. Get, 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 get mad. It's Psychic Nikki hey. on the Dean Blundell Show. Come on. It's Psychic Nikki on the Dean Blundell Show. It's the queen, y'all. It's Psychic Nikki. Do that thing. You know, listening to that made me think, because I just was in the, in the lavatory. Oh. In the water closet, as they call it in Ireland. Mm -hmm. I don't think I wiped good enough. Let me check. Oh, you have to go back and wipe. <laughs> you, get, you get a bacteria. Hang on. You get a bacteria. <laughs> I want to check. I want to check. check. Yeah, let Todd check. That's not be if that was a job. Hey, man, let me check. Yeah, if you're like the king's wipe checker. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah you have I was to get that... every little thing or else you can get like germs. Thank you. Really? Yeah. Thank you. 39 right here. What's the first I... thing you said to Dean today? When you saw him. Oh, we don't want to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we do. Tell me. I had a dream you were spanking me. Spanking! <laughs> Bad witch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to tap you where you sit on a broom. <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to know how you woke yeah. up, Mickey. Let's yeah. move on. And you were, was... you were watching, Todd. Oh, yeah? Probably. Yeah. Let me check. <laughs> and Derek... <laughs> I wasn't watching. And Derek was there, too. Was he really? Yeah. Sean now, does that, when you have dreams about stuff like that, is that just purely a sexual dream? Or do you have dreams mm. like that and it means something? Sometimes it means something. Sometimes it's like sexual. Just a dream. Yeah, just a dream. It doesn't really, you know, oh. unless you're going to spank somebody else. I, I hope not. I, yeah. <laughs> I have no desire to spank. Well, I, I know. I don't know what that's all about. but well, You're probably just horny old, horny old lady dreams. Yeah. That could be. Yeah. All right. What do you got? <laughs> anyway, okay. Now I, I I see an accident on a bridge with a lot of cars, like oh. a lot of cars. Right, the bridge is cut off from one end to the other, mm -hmm. with like hundreds of cars. Did you call that accident out east? I did. Yeah, she did. I yeah? did. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was cool. cool. People got it was hurt. Extremely cool. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not good. I know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, I see a giant wave in Hawaii, okay? A huge wave killing surfers, people. So it's going to be like a tsunami. Really? Yeah, mm. it's, it's going to... Two opera, soap opera stars are going to kill each other on TV by mistake. Okay, they're, they're seeing calls for a gun. And they both have bullets in them? Yeah, but the, the prop guy forgot to take the bullets out. Oh, so they can't. Man. <laughs> that oh. would be they even have real... You know what? That'd be the yeah. that'd win a, some kind of Emmy award for yeah. sure. <laughs> good <laughs> acting. Yeah, that's commi- that's commitment. Those are good actors. Well, I hope that doesn't Accepting happen, me, right? Yeah. yeah. Now they're gonna find, <clears throat> pardon me, a brothel in the back of an auto body shop. Okay. I'm in Brooklyn, cool. New York. Yeah. I like that. And uh, rats will invade a sausage factory. Ah, a lot of, tons of rats everywhere, like rats, rats, rats. Ah. <laughs> That's not good. That's pretty funny. Well, that's Why what Richard funny, Gere calls Dean? it. Yeah. Four sausages. Ah. Really? You sure it's not a sausage factory or turd town? Really? <laughs> I, I see a man losing his pants at a sporting event. So it's probably like two hockey players are going to get into a fight. And, one and their will pull, pants fall off? The pants are going to both fall down at the uh, on the ice. Surprised it doesn't happen more. Yeah. yeah. And I see a ship sinking off the coast of Argentina. Do you know where that is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, oh, I predicted the explosion in Turkey that happened today, mm. too. Yeah. There was Did an you pre- explosion in Turkey today? I didn't know. Yeah, it was near the American embassy. Did you yeah. predict that terrible club fire? I, I said something about a club fire last week. I did. No, it was club foot, you said. No, I said there would be a club fire. She did. She did. A fire Big in a club. club. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what she La- said. Last Friday. Dude, it was... And, and you know what? Oshawa, yeah. I got to give you credit. In Oshawa, some, some ship was on fire couple of weeks ago and you said a, a sailboat would or a big ship would uh, be on fire and they had to evacuate like a whole pier and oh, some ships oh sank. really yeah. in Oshawa? like two three weeks ago yeah yep wow i didn't know they had boats ships and, yeah, yeah they any, got them everywhere anyway the, <laughs> wherever there's know, water the owner of hustler magazine what's his name flynn or larry something? flint yeah larry yeah. flint him and the octomom are going to get together somehow <laughs> oh yeah yeah i don't know what that's all about and I see a castle burning. A man's going to get caught in a bread machine. He's going to die in a bread machine. He's coming out the Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, that really uh, hurt. I'm Texas toast. <laughs> probably. Probably. Now, people are going to wake up and they're going to have a new disease. It's not amnesia. Okay? They're going to wake up feeling they're in a n- different universe. Yeah. You know? Yeah, totally. I know. <clears throat> it's like a brain thing. Yeah, mm. brain thing. Yeah, so like you and Todd, you could wake yeah. up and say you're a Napoleon. Oh, Todd that's, could that's, be some... that'll, that'll be happening Saturday night. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why is that, Dean? Because I'm checking closely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Todd, what? I'll be Napoleon. <laughs> okay. And you can be uh, some French guy. In Conquer the... me. Yeah. Conquer yeah. me. Bonaparte. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Bonaparte? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think Napoleon did have that. Yeah. Anyway. What? <laughs> What's that? Keep it up. Okay. Now, a herring ship is going to sink off the coast of Denmark, Copenhagen. Okay. Yeah. And sending all those herring back to the sea? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's Thanks. exactly not band aid factory. <laughs> How lucky would they feel? <laughs> What's huh? that? We're back. Yeah. In luxury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a all tight the... squeeze in there, I tell you. <laughs> Do you like caring? No. I can't oh. even sit my uh, my girlfriend eats egg. I, I used to eat it. Oh. Right. Now a band aid factory is gonna burn down. Okay. Huh. That's not good. You know what? Can we can we get away from garment oh, yeah, factories yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Now actually the, Korea just... now Korea's threatening again. I see Korea absolutely hitting South Korea. With a with a bomb? Yeah. And Japan. No way. Yeah. Oh, and they're gonna get decimated, and, and, and aren't then they? Iran and Israel and they're all that Syrian. I'm telling you, I told you some of this yeah. stuff would happen in 2013. See, now why yeah. wouldn't you say that instead of telling us the elastoplast factory was gonna light on <laughs> because, fire? Uh, yeah. yeah, because a lot of that stuff will happen too. Okay, I know. yeah, but but it's just inconsequential knowing yeah. that there's gonna be a bandage shortage. What I'm what I want is yeah. I want to find out because in North we had a story about North Korea the other day. It's, things are so bad there; they're eating yeah. their own kids. It's Eating terrible, their kids? Man. Yeah, no food. So I think it's high time they bomb someone so that we can decimate the country and people can start again. But it might make sense because no band-aids to get to, you know, to cover the wounded. It's yeah, the that's trigger. True. It's the trigger <laughs> event. Yeah. Yeah, like it's really, like a lot of this stuff that has happened, like I say, is going to... 
And then Iran and Israel are going to scrap? Oh, absolutely. And the Syrian thing, like, they can't seem to come to a conclusion here. Yeah. You know, so all that stuff is going to come up. Uh Uh-huh. And that's not good. No, it's not. It's not. But the U.S. knows that they need something for the economy, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. War. War. The economy is war. Yeah. What is it good for? So that, Making lots of money. Say it again. <laughs> so that's not good at all. Yeah. You know, so. But those are the things that I want to know. Like, right. I, I don't, like I said, I don't want to know that a horse is going to be born with two heads, although that is fairly cool. I want to know who's going to war, when it's going to happen, natural disasters. Like, you talked about the tsunami in Hawaii. I want to know more about that. Oh, yeah. Now, there's a big volcano in Hawaii. Yeah. But I also see... I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the entire chain of islands are volcanic. Yes. Exactly. (laughs) Active. And and then I I see, like, it could happen that this big earthquake in Japan (laughs) again (laughs) happens. Mm -hmm. There's going to be another earthquake in Japan. Now, I did predict last week... They got it tough over there. Cute little people. I I, I did predict last week that there would be an earthquake in Chile, and there was a six... 6.8 6.8 earthquake in Chile mm-hmm. a couple of days Speaking ago. Speaking of which, uh, folks, send me your chili recipes because I'm thinking of oh, making so a big yeah. bowl of yeah. chili oh, for yeah. this week. Like, yeah, no, yeah. like, I'm, I'm going to make a massive crock yeah. pot bowl for, like, today I'm going to go home and get started on this bitch. Do it, dude. I'll help out. You want to? I'll stir. You've you got to put hot oh. sauce in there and hot peppers. Uh, and yeah, you stuff. see that, do you? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and a bread bowl. <laughs> and a bread <laughs> <laughs> What Taco. a great idea. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, that is nice. Yeah, chili's good. Chili's great. Chili's good. Chili's you need super. you need ground beef, too. You need ground beef. I do? Oh, you do. She Why? needs beef. <laughs> you need just any kind of meat. <laughs> yeah, that would, sounds good, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I Ew. now I, I want to go with this one too because it's now an affluent area of Beverly Hills will burn down all the movie stars' homes. I see that in a fire. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not yeah, good. Yeah, Nick, you predicted a club fire in Toronto. You were making fun telling Todd to be careful, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said Porto something. Okay. Didn't I? Or Porto? I don't know. Whatever. Allegra? Whatever. Yeah, but it's, I feel that's sorry a, for those people. Oh, that was tragic. Yeah. 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 Now, um, also. Uh, I see, like, a big terrorist attack in New York <laughs> and Washington. You want to hear about these disaster yeah, things and totally. everything. Yeah, right? And What's the terrorist attack in New York? Is it going to be bigger than 9-11? Like, are we going to see something like that again? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And in Paris, France, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, no yeah. one's going to really London, care. England, and probably here. Smell. Because it's all because of all this stuff happening in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. You know? It's really going to be big. And all of a sudden, you'll turn your TV on and see all what happened at 9-1-1, un- unfortunately. 9-1-1? Yeah. 9-11. 9-11. <laughs> now, Oregon. I said they... What was that, Sean? Keep going. Oh, okay. Oregon is having an... I said they would have an earthquake. In well, Oregon. They had one this week, and it's going to be even bigger going all up the West Coast. Yeah. California, Oregon, Alaska, all that stuff. This okay. week. Probably in the next few weeks here. Really? Or, or a couple of months. Yeah, yeah it's going to... moving in slow motion today, or is it me? Yeah. 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 What's that? Okay. No, you're... Dude, you, you oh. got all pissed up and you're hung over last yeah, night. Yeah, Todd, your <laughs> eyes look like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're looking worse and worse as a day. Right? Yeah. It's just not healthy. Yeah, no, you're just, are you, are you now, like, I think you might have been still wasted this morning, and now you're just verging into hungover. Oh, Todd, that's not good. Todd, you but, look more wasted than Drughead over here. No, know? I just feel like she's moving in slow motion. No, it's I not her. It's okay. No, yeah, okay, it's you. Like, you. Yeah, your eyes look like a fish's eyes today. All right. It's like look like a trout. Kind of At least my boobs green. aren't on my ankles. You're like red Let's go, lady. She's got you there. Okay. Point time. Yeah. I always move in slow motion. No, you don't. <laughs> no? No, okay. it's T-Bone's a little out of it this time. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry okay. about it. Yeah. Now, I know you don't like these predictions, but I do see this. A man going to an ATM machine, and he's getting his money out. He's overdrawn. He tries again, and the machine kills him. Like, there's a flash fire. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm telling you, Dean, I see it. You'll have it on the edge files. I believe it. Yep. Okay. You'll have it on the edge files. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. And I see a a horse race and a horse jumping into the stands. And um, this, like, also, Syria is just going to be one bloodbath. She went for the horse race. Yeah. (laughs) To Syria. Hmm. Interesting. Syria is having a bloodbath. Yeah, I know what's been going on for a while. Yeah, but that's going to escalate, like I say. And Egypt, I said it would escalate in Egypt. They're having problems there now. 
How about mm-hmm. those pyramids? Though? Yeah, oh, that is now. something. Still to this day. Mm-hmm. What's that? <laughs> it, amazes, it amazes everyone. Still really, to this day. Yeah, yeah but that pyramid, see. something's going to happen to the pyramids. Uh, I'm back. telling you, they will. Something's going to crash into just them. think about it. But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting that. There's a lot of mummies still underneath there, but... You know, it's going to happen. All right. And I see some form of poison in the Nile River, too. Something happening to all the fish and everything like that. So, okay. Yeah. And there's going to be a collision of two boats off the coast of South Africa. No kidding. Yeah. Big collision. How do you how There's boats a lot of hit? space out yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Right near Cape Town. And they're going to build a ship just like the Titanic. The Titanic ship, and it's going to sink. Yeah, you said that about a year yeah, ago, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just it's going to be that a Australian replica. Australian guy's doing it. A replica yeah. of something like that. Hmm. So how do you feel about that? I'm, I'm fine. Oh, good, yeah. good, good, good. Now, they're going to have, they're going to test one of the American presidents to see if his brain's really working. What? Yeah, just a minute. It could be like a past president that goes into a coma. Oh, you're... Yeah. you're, you're <clears throat> no, no, no. That was the president of Israel. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah Ariel yeah. Sharon. They did that to him the other day. Oh, His brain's okay. working. Close, though. President of Israel. Oh, the old pre- president of Israel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they did it the other day. Yeah. Okay. And it was all over the news, so. That was and a good he's still one. living? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. They should have done it to George Bush when he was in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> While he was in No signs of life. <laughs> <laughs> the Dan Blundell Show. Dan Blundell Show. On 102.1 The Edge. Hey, Nikki. Yes, Dino. Ready for... <clears throat> I'm sorry, Dennis. <laughs> I don't care. You don't care? You ready for... No, I'm good. I love you. You can call me anything. Really? Yeah, except sugar nuts. I don't like that one. It's reserved for me. Yeah. Oh, okay, sugar nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I call Todd... You know what I call him? What's that? Snuggle crotch. Really? Yeah. Why is yeah. that, Dennis? Because that's oh. what I do. Snuggle crotch. Cr- yeah. Wow. <laughs> Snuggling around the crotch. Yeah, well, that's good right. one. Sugar nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle crotch. I thought it was a cereal, sugar nuts. No, no, it's no? sugar bear crunch. Oh, oh. What? Hey, I don't know. <clears throat> don't hurt. How you doing? Hello? Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Good. You got a uh, question for Nikki? Oh, man, I've been waiting to get in touch with her for about 15 months. Look, uh, it's like Nikki. Uh, hi, hi, Todd, and hi, hi, hi Dean. Um, listen, um, I have a, a terminally ill daughter. You have um, a what? A terminally, terminally ill daughter. Okay. What's the story? Um, <laughs> without crying? Um, okay. Uh, she, we, she was diagnosed in 2011, the end of October, with uh, a rare form of brain cancer called DIPG, which is called diffuse pontine glioma. And they gave her, we went to sick kids, and um, they gave her nine months to live. Um, we've gone through the only out we had... Because, of course, the doctors there don't, don't give you any else. They gave us a bottle of morphine, actually. How old's your daughter, sir? She's six. And um, so we get there, and they say nine months. So the only out we had was to go to a natural path or homeopath uh, to try and kill the cancer on the inside. Now, we've just passed 15 months. We still have her, thank God. And uh, I just want to know. And I've been, of course, doctors here in North America, they don't tell us anything uh, with regards to, you know, cancer and treatments, because we all hear about treatments around the world. They're here in Canada, but they won't do it because of the pharmaceutical companies. So my question is, you know, how, sorry, how much longer do I have with my daughter? Like, what do you predict? Yeah, you know, if I, if I, can, if I can help out here, and, and you know, I, 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 I can hear as a dad, I can hear the desperation in your voice, and it just breaking my heart for you, man, and I'm sorry. But Dude, you, you have no idea, because... I know. No one does. Uh, we're, we're trying to feed her healthy through... Uh, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm not sorry. going anywhere. No, we're, no, we're, sir. Try, we're trying to uh, uh, feed her healthy, like health food, uh, no, no dairy... No salt, no sugar, no wheat, no flour. Because um, these, are, these are things that, 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 that cancer eats. And like human beings, when we're hungry, we eat. When cancer's hungry, it eats. And we're trying to destroy that. Now, you know, to eat healthy these days, I mean, to go to Whole Foods kind of thing, and bless you, Whole Foods, because to be honest with you, you've probably saved my daughter up to this point. But, uh, like, honestly, uh, it's to get three bags of food at Whole Foods is 300 bucks. To get a... Mm-hmm. Uh, to get a, a, a half organic turkey at nine pounds is thirty-seven dollars. Like uh, it's—I yeah. mean, I'm not trying to 
to make everyone feel guilty or sorry for me. No, no, I know, I know, I dude. You know, know what? Hey, I, like, I know, I know, I know, I know. And, and and you know what? Unfortunately, that's one of those things that Nikki doesn't really do, but she does know. And I'm looking at her, and she seems positive, and she seems like uh, you've got some time with her. And and uh, and it, if I'm not mistaken, that is that correct? Absolutely, uh, Dean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we, we thank God for family and friends. They threw us a fundraiser in December, about a month after it happened. And uh, we got about $16,000 from that through family and friends. And let me tell you, I work for, I hope they're not listening, but I work for Cheerleader. And, you know, I'm a, uh, yes, we have two kids, one on the way. We have four, we're four months pregnant, which, you know, because of this thing, we don't want to stop our lives. But it definitely put on hold for a year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now that... Uh, Things seem to be, like, we had an MRI, and we shrunk it by, by 11%, which, you know, you go tell the doctor, the doctors tell us we've shrunk it, and they don't say good job or blah, blah, blah. They just say, well, okay, off to the next MRI you go. Like, it's... Yeah, you know what, dude? And yeah. that, if they had answers, they'd give them to you. And, yeah. and, and, and I, no, they I, wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Not here in North America. No way. They're a bunch of trained bloody SEALs here. Yeah, wow. They gave us 1%, and all of a sudden, they've told us uh, in the last three months, because we go to the cancer clinic at Sick Kids once a month, and they told us, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time, you know, sir, that, uh, you know, this starts going backwards. And I'm like, you know what? Every day, I listen to you guys all the time. I've been trying to get through to Psychic Nikki just to anything. Like, the only thing we do for her other than, you know, be her parents is nothing but positive energy is around her. Because that's the one thing these damn pharmaceutical companies haven't bottled up yet. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, dude. I I know, I I know there's a bigger issue. Nikki Nikki wants to say something. I want you to keep positive, you know, because... We have no choice. Because that... There could be miracles. There's a lot of miracles in the world right now. And why not us? Why and, not right, us? exactly. Yeah, so you man. keep on having a positive yeah. attitude, and my heart goes out to you and your family. And How your are her spirits, daughter. your daughter's spirits? Uh, she, she, up until this point, she still thinks it's just a simple boo-boo Aww. on her head. And, you know, she's been going back to school full-time for 13 months. I mean, even her teachers this week were telling us, you know, she's falling behind in her studies. And we're like, are you kidding me right now? Because... She, she lost 184 days of kindergarten. Yeah, we told them keep her back a year. We don't care. Do you know what, dude? Let me let me just girl. let me. I know, I know, I know. You're pissed off and frustrated and sad and all that yeah. stuff. But there was a little girl in my son's class a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't know if it was the same type of thing, but it was it was a very grim situation. And after a couple of brain surgeries, uh, this little girl is is on her feet, back to normal, uh, happy, healthy, and it was a miracle. There are miracles out there, and you just hang on for one, okay? Just yeah. keep that, on that, praying. That, just keep on praying, and I. I feel positive right now because your energy is positive thank you that's a story that makes me feel good knowing that there's there's somebody out there but the only difference with mine is is ours is not uh, operable so well there's been miracles with not operable. this one wasn't either this one wasn't either and 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 god bless her she's okay so but just keep fighting the good fight and and someone just sent uh tell that guy to visit the website phoenixtears.ca for his daughter Say that again. I want to write that down. PhoenixTears.ca. I know when you're desperate, you look for anything, and this might be it. But Phoenix, like the the you know Phoenix, the bird. Arizona. The bird. Tears. Phoenix Tears. T e a r s. Dot ca. And I don't know what it is. Some guy just said, "Tell him there uh, there's this website out there for." Okay. Yeah, we, we, we trust me. We do our uh, online, like I said, with through, through natural and and, uh, and homeopath. We're trying to good. With everything. And guys, I just want to say, you guys bring up my spirits every day. I, I honestly come to work upset that I'm leaving my family every day. And I, 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 I listen to you guys, and I'm telling you, I'm probably one of the, other than you guys, I'm probably one of the funniest mofos you'll ever meet. But uh, <laughs> and listening to you guys, you guys just give me extra uh, uh, gunfire. To, hey, uh, you know, you'd, you'd laugh your ass off if you saw Todd's eyes right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. He yeah. is yeah. hung to the come, tits. <laughs> I'd love to come down there, guys, and Anytime. prove you how much of funny I am so you guys can kick somebody off your show and add me to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, you, uh, you go enjoy your family this weekend. Thanks for your call and stay up. Thanks, guys. Take Think care. Be positive. And Goody works for Pure Later, not that other company, because the, the outfits are not bad. Not Which the, ones? Well, isn't the other one there? They have that. Uh, the, 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 his are more colorful than the the brown one. What's the other no. one? Or I see the brown. Does he? Do they wear the, wear the brown? Brown? You know the outfit. Anyway, I'm just saying. Pure Later drivers have nice outfits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand a goddamn word you were saying. <laughs> Neither did I. At the edge. <laughs> At the edge.
Hey, how's it going? Good, man. What's up? Not much. I've been trying to get through for a while, actually. Um, I was wondering if I could ask Nikki about um, what's going on, what's going to happen in my life in regards to love. Are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 33. Don't have a girlfriend? No, I actually just broke up with one and uh, miss her and everything. But, you know, I'm just wondering what's going to happen. Okay, what is your sign? Sagittarius. Oh, a Sag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that always sounds so uh, funny. Why is that? You're a Sag. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. Okay. Now, honestly, <laughs> see, you know, it's not going to be long before somebody is in your bathtub with you, you know? Like, I see oh. somebody there. <laughs> oh, no, it it's going to be another guy. No, and he, and, he, and he, he tapes your mouth shut and, and ties your hands up oh. and puts you in the bathtub and then gets all naked yeah. and gets in there with you. And then he cuts a hole in the tape. Only it's not a guy, it's a woman. And he calls you wifey. <laughs> like I, he wants to see your sag. <laughs> <laughs> and his motto is no lube. Oh. Really? The Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show on the edge. Hello. 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 Do, Hello. Do, do. <sighs> Couple minutes, take a few phone calls here. Hi, the edge. Hello. Hello. Hi, The Edge. Hey, how are you? Good, who's this? It's Jesse. You sound like a firecracker. A firecracker, eh? <laughs> yeah. Or you just smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even Victoria Day. Yeah, I like it when you're still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's your question for Nikki? Um, I actually have, I have a uh, few guys coming over to my house. I've had some messed up stuff going on in here. And they're coming over to kind of investigate my home right now and Ghosts? i'm yeah and i'm getting this weird feeling that i don't know this might be this might piss them off piass the ghosts off <laughs> yeah it, I know it probably crazy. will talk to her talk yeah to her. The, uh. the ghosts will come out more Okay, there's more than one ghost and in your gonna house. And he's going to come out? Yeah. It's going to be like this, right? <laughs> yeah. If the ghost comes out, he'd be like, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> surprise! You thought it was a straight ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, booty, boo, boo, boo. My name is Ghosty. <laughs> no, honestly. This, is, uh, this white is deceiving. Uh. <laughs> now, now, I'm feeling that. Goo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks to me you're going to have some angry ghosts. <laughs> Not till Halloween. Goo. <laughs> like, they've been around in here and yes. found themselves for years, but been around. I've never had any... Like I'm not scared. Makes that surprised look they have on their face like means Ah. something totally Ah. different. Ah. Oh, goo. I'm ready. (laughs) (laughs) And those guys are in for a treat that are coming (laughs) over, by the way. The Ghostbusters. (laughs) It's slimed. It's slimed, I say. Now tell me what you feel. I don't. It's never been, you know, a bad feeling that's around this. No, no, no. There. They're around and they make themselves very well known. But I mean, it's not scary. Have you seen them? Um, I've seen. Yes, and they're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> they redesigned their kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's my butt, man. I'll wake up in the middle of the night. Stephen and Chris is on TV. <laughs> I love Stephen and Chris. They're my pals. And I love the color pink. <laughs> That's okay. the dumbest thing you ever said. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, anyway, go ahead. Top five. Anyway. Jesse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So tell me what you see. Um, we've had a bunch of different things happen. Um, my sister in here has seen a big shadow figure that walked across my room. Um, we've had things move. Yeah, like move. Like what kind of things moved? Um, your dildo. Yeah, <laughs> this place one day. No, um, like kitchen utensils. Mm. Uh, yeah, I see that. Picture moving. this floating dildo. Your dildo. Going in and out. Uh, the canola oil. Picture <laughs> <laughs> this dildo going in. And out. <laughs> It disappears or reappears. Both dildos at the same time. You know the guys are human chain. A bit of a daisy chain, ghost style. Ghostly screams of pleasure. I hope that ghost visits me. That's what they're doing. 
this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I see a ghost with I a never candle. Get used to that. I see a, I see a woman with a black veil and a candle. Oh my goodness. And also, I see a more woman. stuff. Yes, yeah. a woman a and there's woman. two men. There's a man that looks like Scrooge in the Christmas Carol, the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and I see a lot of candles around you. And also, you're going to have more things floating around. Nice. I'm nice. telling you, you after Hopefully those Hopefully it's men, not ghost semen. <laughs> yeah, white orbs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh,